Hey there, Natalie May here. Today I'm going to be sharing this fun layout that I created for Stencil Girl based on the Artie Celebrations theme for December. This month I've used the Scribble Scratch Stencil and the Layer Me Circle Stencil, both designed by Carolyn Juby, as well as the Illegible Stencil designed by KP. Starting with the Scribble Scratch Stencil, I laid down a bit of a paper towel base here, then using a Lindy Stamp Gang Spray in Summer Loving Sun, gave it a really generous spray. I wanted to use this, um, the stencil as a stamp instead of a stencil because I absolutely love this stencil and love how it works out. I used Marshmallow cardstock as my base. Marshmallow just gives me a really sturdy background to work on. Next I used the um, Circles Layer Me stencil and some Hibiscus Rose Lindy spray to give a really, really big pop of colour. But because I didn't want too much of the, of the hot pink, I masked off an area so I didn't get any overspray. Before lifting off the stencil, I just gave it a quick dab with a paper towel just to speed up the drying process and just so that the pink didn't get spread absolutely everywhere. Um, gave it a little spray on that side and I'm all good to go. Next thing I'm doing is using the illegible stencil with some black distress oxide to give a little bit of dimension over the top and break up some of that hot pink and uh, yellow. Um, just using the oxides, I'm just putting it on really gently with a blending, sp uh, blending sponge and just giving it a little wriggle because the stencil's super delicate. Um, by wriggling it, it, it pushes the ink all the way through. Now I'm using the Paper Rose Christmas Star Stamp to uh, add a bit of a pattern in the background uh, using a turquoise ink. Sorry it's out of focus, I didn't even realise. I get carried away and just totally forgot about it, but it gives you a bit of an idea. So just adding a few little, bit of a, few little patterns in the background. I needed to add a little bit more turquoise to the layout, so I masked off the background using some paper towel and used Time, Ta Time Travel Teal Lindy's Spray just to give it a quick splatter. The Artful Celebrations theme this month is really just about celebrating all things arty. Um, this photo that I'm using is of a friend of mine, Sue. Sue is another fellow Aussie who is a very, very like-minded crafter. Sue and I get along fabulously. She's super talented. Um, and I love this photo of us taken in Queensland earlier this year. Um, so I have matted it on white cardstock, uh, then found some random ephemera left over from a previous kit that I've created. What I did is took all of those bits of ephemera and cut them all up and slid them in underneath my photo. Um, it's just about picking out the right colours to layer in underneath to highlight the photo, pull out some of the colours that are in that photo and pull out the colours that are in the background and highlight those colours. When I do all of my layering under my photo, I generally work from the photo down. I find that, that this, is the, this is the easiest way to go and I can build and frame my photo beautifully this way. So just grabbing all these little pops of colour and all of these little bits and pieces, um, I just use a little bit of glue, a bit of Helmer's glue to slide those in underneath. So lots of shuffling of paper here, lots of gluing, lots of changing my mind every now and again. Um, but you can see the process of, of building it up underneath and it just creates a thin little frame all the way around just to, to bring the focus back to the photo because that's what it's all about. So I'm just going to use some glue to adhere it down to the page. I like the glue because I can move it around if I need to very quickly, slide it across the page if my title doesn't fit. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is use a few stars from the Paper Rose die cut set. I've just pre-cut those onto white cardstock and layer them over the top of, um, of my stenciling just to help break it up a bit because there's a lot going on in that background. So I use the stars simply to, to keep that star theme going all the way through because my friend Sue, she is a freaking star. Um, look her up, Sue Plum. So very, very talented chick and very down to earth. 
So I get all of those um, stars stuck on. Oh, look at that. Move the camera. You can actually see what I'm doing now. Um, and then I'm going to use this title. This title is actually a, um, what do they call it? One of those letterboard things. But I bought it to be titles on my page. They're from Die Cuts with a View. Um, these are the thickers from Vicky Booten. Um, hey there to Vicky. Top chick. And um, I'm going to stick those on about there beautiful and the little dot um, the word super is from some ephemera that I bought when I was on New on a trip to New Zealand um, there's cool little acetate words so shuffle that around a bit I used some dimensional magic to stick that down it needs to dry super clear um, super wow I'm great with words today uh, next thing I'm going to do is use some of these doodlebug alphas to create the word arty and whack those on there. Um, these are probably my favourite alphas to use. I think I've got them in every colour. The font is fantastic um, and they are very, very versatile. I must make sure that I've still got a stash of them floating around. So I get those on. Um, changed my mind a couple of times on positioning, as you can tell. Yep, yep, that looks good. Stick that about. Yeah, stick it, stick it. There. Beautiful. Done. And there's the top of my head. Sorry. Um, okay, so stick those on and get a few arrows on. So I needed the black arrows and a few black spots uh, for a bit of a bit more balance and a bit of dimension. And then I also add a few of the um, a few little scriggles in black pen, just doodles, just to balance and give a few thin lines of black. So that's my layout. Um, hopefully, it makes some sort of sense. I, oh, look, I'm still going. What am I doing? Oh, right, black splatters. Of course, none of my layouts are complete without some sort of black splatters. <laughs> so I'm masking off the area. Give it a black splatter and take off the paper towel. And look at that, that's better. All right, so now I'm done. So there's my layout for Stencil Girl for December. Um, there's all the little up close photos, all those little details. Uh, the products that I've used, they're all listed about here. Go out, make some pretty things. So thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.